folks. Welcome back to Rugby Ascent. Post-game here interviews for Rugby ATL in this strange evergreen jersey that I'm looking at that doesn't look at all like my ATL jersey. I think it's a fraudulent mm -hmm. scam going on down here. But what's going on? So we got Jeremy York with Impact Media down there with team captain Johan Mumpson. Johan, I got to tell you that my man of the match, it was a close call between you and Jason Dom. What was it like out there tonight? You guys did pretty well. Yeah, uh, first off, we didn't stick to our plan. It wasn't great. Uh, we made a lot of errors. I think 10, 10 turnovers in the first half. Can't win rugby games uh, with that many turnovers. But uh, second half, we stuck to our guns. Went set piece to set piece, and we dominated that way. Uh, came out and had a good set piece, uh, second half performance. So, yeah, well, with the bonus point win. Well, absolutely. Bonus point when you get there with the four tries and then the victory puts you at the top of the log, at least temporarily. But discipline was a problem there, especially in that first half. It kind of looked like a couple years ago. Um, was the focus not there or just guys overly excited? I think really excited. Like you said, two of them or three of them was Jason actually getting on the ball perfectly. It's just one or two lazy guys, maybe not rolling quick enough. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, it's, that's a tough call, but the – just had to regroup and say, all right, let's stick to our guns. Let's uh, just make some good dominant hits and turn over the ball with handling errors. So that was the plan from there, and it worked. Nola looked kind of hungry there in the first half. They came out strong, had some good play, some good kicking of the ball, good placement. And then, honestly, that try looked a bit soft and did look very uncharacteristic for ATL on defense, that first try. Damn, I can't even remember what happened. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, I don't even remember. Out, I don't even remember. Yeah, I mean, I think, like you said, it was too easy. Some of us, I think we regrouped after the post, behind the post. There wasn't even anyone talking about it. The mentality straight away was just, all right, next job. That was just, uh, if I can, if I can call it, it's just that was that was not it. That was not good enough. Uh, next job, we'll kick off, we'll turn it over, and we we'll play from there. So we all knew that wasn't good enough. Uh, yes, they came out hard, like you said, but we. Uh, we made too many errors. It was too easy for them in the beginning. Well, I have to say, as far as character, rugby ATL, that seems consistent regardless who's coaching and who's playing on the team. This, um, it's over, move on. We got to do the next thing. Like you said, you didn't worry about that. You you got right back into the game. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's that's that's the big thing about our group. We're a bunch of tight, tight, tight boys. Uh, everyone trusts each other. Everyone just trusts each other to do their own job. So, uh, really, it's it's easy to to, to just going to the next job mentality you just know the guy next to you is going to do his thing just forget about what happened and move on to the next so you all had a final question before we turn it over to jeremy there for a question or two um i see you're the captain of the squad now does that mean you're the gray beard you still look kind of ginger there um are you see are you a seasoned veteran now <laughs> it seems like it it's a uh, pretty young for a veteran but yeah i got a little bit of gray hair on this side growing in so maybe that's why i don't know <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just back from South Africa after a five week tour just this yeah, week. So, cool. yeah, no, I'm I'm about seven hours ahead of you right now. So I'm gonna turn it over to Jeremy for any questions he's got for Johan. Yeah, I, you know, this time it, you're the one that's trying to make him chase you. You know, the last time we had him on, I really thought he was gonna chase me around because I said the team come out soft, but uh, <laughs> uh, they definitely were not soft today. Uh, I actually want to ask you, uh, you know, Ben starting at number two. This was first start in MLR. What did you think he did today? Uh, ben is exciting. Ben brings a lot on attack. He brings a lot of uh, firepower. He's uh, never know what he's gonna do. I mean, solid player, like any New Zealander. You know, he's, he's great in the basics and. Uh, very fast for a hooker. So he brings a lot on attack. It's an exciting new prospect for us. So it's great. And then actually Nola is the, the kind of polar opposite of how they play. You guys like to be forward. You like going for the contact. They like to play at a distance. You know, how soon can you guys kind of kind of turn the switch on that when you guys realized that they were going to play at a distance, you guys could take over in that territory? I think that was the problem first off. We knew exactly what they were going to do and what they're going to bring. But uh, it was just that maybe not switched on. 100 percent enough but you know we, we know they want to make it loose we want to make it tight so they set piece to set piece and it just we didn't stick to our guns in that first half we, as soon as we did the scoreboard went up so yeah well all righty that's uh oh johan Mumpson. thanks uh bye bye donkey good to see you again congratulations on the win tonight all right Stay close. thank you cheers